Hey everyone, hope that your day has been going well and that this can make it even better. Before I get into the workings of this amazing project, timestamps are currently on the screen, in the description as well as in the pinned comment for each section I'm reviewing. Right now I'm in Lua Learning, which you can find in the description of this video, and is currently a work in progress game developed solely by Boat Bomber. He plans to include many more features as well as a wide selection of lessons to make learning how to code in Roblox much easier. Without further ado, let's get right into it. To start off, you're presented with four buttons upon opening the game. The Lessons, Playground, Tutorials, and the More button which I'll get in towards the end of the video. The first part we're going to take a look at are the Lessons, which will begin with the basics of Lua and eventually progress in difficulty as more chapters are added. Keep in mind that the ones that are shown in this video are placeholders, which mean that they are here until more detailed and proper guides are created. To start a lesson, simply click on the name of it, and then head over to the button at the right that's labeled Run Selected. The name should also be next to it, just to make sure that you've chosen the correct lesson. To start, you can click this, and it will put you into the lesson. From here, you will begin learning how to code. It may look intimidating at first, but this game provides a description in addition to instructions at the left side of your screen to make sure that you know what to do. The middle section is used as your workspace, the place where you type your code, while the right side is the output, which is where you'll see the final product after running it. For the first lesson, it wants you to create a print statement to output a message of your choice. If you don't know how to do this, you are given a hint at the left side of your screen that can help lead you in the right direction. Try not to use these every time, however, or you might not learn as much. Some lessons, such as the next one, won't give you what to type in word for word, so try changing what you typed a few times first. I'm just going to type something in here and purposely get it wrong. I'm going to get this wrong, just to show you an example. When you want to test your code to see if it completes the lesson, go to the bottom of your screen and click on Run. If you get it wrong, this GUI will appear on your screen. I would suggest clicking the retry button first to see if you can fix your mistakes, but if you can't figure it out, clicking the solve button will give you a proper example. Before I click this though, there's one more button here that will be very important when the game has many more lessons. At the top left, there is a report error button that is used to let the owner know that something doesn't work like it should. Only use this if you are 100% sure that it does not work. Moving on over here, I'm going to click on solve. And as you can see that it's given a proper example. If you'd like to test this just to see, click on run. And if you've gotten it right, it'll say that the lesson was successful, the lesson attempt, and you can move on to the next one. From here, I'm gonna go back. Once you have completed all the lessons in a chapter, you'll be presented with a quiz, which will test you on the knowledge that you've learned from the lessons there. As you can see up here, just going to go through it really quick. There we go. From here you can either continue reviewing in that chapter, you can redo the quiz, or you can move on to the next one. The next section that I'm going to show is the playground, which is the button in the middle on the home screen. This part is almost like being in Roblox Studio, having the freedom to test any code that you'd like. There are samples at the bottom left if you'd like to see some of the things that you could do here in this uh, playground. And here's the other one just if you want to see it. The most important section right now in my opinion though, will be the tutorials which is the button on the right on the menu screen. This part of the game allows for a lot of ideas and game changing code to be shared by the community. Here you could browse player submitted tutorials that range from easy to hard. You can rate them and give feedback, as well as create your own to be added to the catalog that is present. I'll take a look at some of these tutorials to give you guys an idea of what they currently look like. Uh, the first one, which might be one of the more important ones if you're just doing this for the first time, would be Tutorial Creation, which has been made by the owner just to give you a good idea of how to make a tutorial. He explains some of the things that I will be showing you in a couple of minutes. As you can see at the bottom, you can send some feedback to the person who made the tutorial, and you can also rate the tutorial to see, not to see, you can rate the tutorial as to how well you think it was made and then it will update the rating that it has in stars, which is shown right here. So some of the other ones I'm going to show, I'm going to 
organize it here based on difficulty from easiest to hardest. And here's one that I think is pretty cool. This one, see as you can see, you can include images in your tutorial. There's a lot of different things that you could do to make it easier for people to learn. As you can see at the bottom, you have these options again. As we move on to the medium section, I'm going to take a look at the one for loading screen. You could do it in a different way too, like this, showing the code instead of doing it through images. And for the hard one, there's not too many in here right now, but hopefully as more people start coming to this game, you'll be able to get more of these tutorials in here. So you can see some people can go very in depth, which I would suggest doing if you're going to make a tutorial, just so you can make it easier for people to understand. And now I'm going to briefly show you what the tutorial creation looks like before I move on to the final section. To get there, go to the top right of your screen and click on the image right next to the word create. This will present you with any of submissions, drafts, or comments that you have. And I believe the comments are the feedback that people have sent you. I'm not too sure though, since this is a relatively new section. If you'd like to start your own tutorial, you can go to the top left and click on the button that says create new. The display is a bit bugged right here at the right on higher resolutions right now, so I'll put an image over it to show you what it says. The left side of the screen is where you begin with everything, choosing the title and a brief description for your tutorial. Right below that you can choose a label as to if your tutorial is easy, medium, or hard. And at the very bottom, these tools are what you'll primarily be using to create your tutorial. The add button is probably the most important as it allows you to add section titles or headers or text blocks, code blocks, as well as images. Just as an, as an example, I'm going to type some stuff, ja ja ja. Um, going to add some text below it. As you can see, it goes in there. I'm going to add some code some basic basic as you can see it does that in a little bit different just so you can distinguish it from the other text and then the bottom one is for images but I don't have one that I'm gonna put there right now now if you accidentally added something that you didn't mean to add then you can click on the delete button and then click on that one and it will be deleted if you would like to edit one of the existing blocks that you have there you can click on the edit button and then go back and type something else like another smiley face and right now the sort button it's there it's kind of buggy I found some workarounds for it but I sent it to the owner so hopefully those things will be fixed soon if you're done with editing your tutorial for right now you can click save draft at the bottom or you can submit it if you think that it's ready to be published all of the tutorials that have been added to this game have been screened by the owner, so don't think you can get away with including anything malicious or inappropriate in your tutorials. The final thing I have to show you guys is back on the menu screen, which is the more button at the very bottom. Here you have the options to take a look at the credits and see who has contributed to what is in the game. In the middle, you can message the owner directly with any feedback or bug reports that you have without having to go to his user page. And then the last one is a donation button which I would highly suggest doing because it has been made by one person and it's free. You do not have to pay any robux to start playing this game. And he has also created this to allow for everyone to have a better and more efficient experience with learning how to code. If you have some form of Builders Club, a day or a couple of days of your daily Robux shouldn't be too much to donate and show your support. Just like this, it's as simple as that. And even if you don't have any Robux that you can give, then at least by playing the game you can show him that it means something to you and he can continue working on adding more things and fixing bugs and all of that sort of stuff. Speaking of that, make sure to leave some feedback for me and my channel in the comments section below if you have any. Clicking the like button or even the subscribe button is entirely free and lets me know that you enjoy this content.